Okay, so start this day off on a wet, cool, miserable day, working long hours, taking the skirting off of this mobile home because there is a leak. And the uh, owner has sent us out to fix the rental. I think I see that down the bottom down here. You know, the skirting is not in very good shape, but we're not here to fix skirting. That's not what we're... Although he wants me to start giving him an estimate to fix the skirting at some point for all. He has like 35 homes. But uh, I'm sure he don't want to spend that much money right now. You found it? Even further? Stove? To my left a little bit. To your left over here? This is the sink. This is the stove. Right, right here. So take the rest of that skirting off and Joy Joy. This was really pretty skirty at one one time. Years ago I put this stuff together uh, in Texas. I used to used to bend it and make it. This is uh, not that type. With aluminum skirting, this is what happened. It's kind of wrecked. There's an assortment of screws, as over the years, many different people work on it, use different screws each time. It's like a bunch of different quarter inch. Looks like somebody's been going in over here. Got screws along the bottom too. Shouldn't be that two by eight, but it's fastened to the skirting somehow. Need raise enough to open up the underbelly, or is there any there? Uh, I'll go under there real fast. You don't need more of that skirting taken off? No, right. Uh, well, you need a stick for getting rid of the cobwebs?
Well, this don't look like a decorative tree right here. This, although it don't break at all. What's up, puppy? Hey. Some dead trees on the ground there. He's wanting to get rid of cobwebs. Not a big fan of spiders, evidently. I don't care about spiders, I'm not a fan of the webbing. Don't like the webbing on your face? No Scooby Doo adventure for you. Most of the time, most of the time, the leaks are on the outside of the house before you get to the frame. That is not always the case. Bathtubs, um, sometimes sinks, or oh, be the other side of the frame. But most of the time, they're from the frame to the outside of the house. Yeah, you know, that's a lot of cobweb. You know, like a light a torch, go to a cave. In this case, let's. I need knife. What do you need? Knife. Razor knife. So, bring him a razor knife. Want to have the phone? Huh? So, this is what people call a drip. <laughs> uh, it's going to get a lot worse when I cut it. Uh, here we go. Uh, not yet. I got to get it down to see where it's at. Okay. We went through a week and a half of really cold temperatures, then a week and a half of nothing but fixing water leaks, lots and lots of water leaks. Hit negative 21, which is a record for this state of Arkansas. So, you find it? What does it look like? Pinhole, but it's nowhere near a drip. Yeah, you're spraying. Yeah, not a lot. It's more than way more than. Uh, I floated down all the water. So we need a coupling to put it together. This one. Is it gray pipe or black, black pipe? Black. Yeah. All right, so we're which gonna. Which we the black pipe we've done before. We can put one. Crimp just put one crimp ring instead of two. Request the gray pipe. We'll put two.
Probably very bad. So this is a other kids have an Xbox. I have a Pex box. So a wide assortment of in your cutter of stuff. And believe me, my Pex box is worth way more than any Xbox. Now, let's see, we have a special tool here. Where's the good, good cutter? They're both good. They're both brand new. You just like that other one. It should be down in there too or something. This is a uh, bought from Lowe's. This is a uh, shut off combo. Has a handle you can stick in the center and ways to turn off so let's go out here and turn off the water which I had to dig around the leaves to find it generally your water lines run very close to your power lines but this doesn't have overhead power to go by so see there that there's two meters you certainly don't want to turn off the wrong one so you want to look see most likely it'd be the one on the side that the house is on the other one go to the other side okay right there I'm gonna get that clay. Just kind of doing things without having a camera. Man, I'm used to doing that. Cool. Going the wrong direction. No, you grab it. Just loose. The wrong way. Well, I think you're going the wrong way. Okay. Can't well, go that way. You can do that. Leave it there. You don't want a headlamp? Yeah. You got your crimper. Just one leak? I guess he did. When I stop making mistakes, I'll be dead. <clears throat> What's up? Get the water off. It may take a while to get the pressure off. Little tiny. Did you turn it as solid as it would go? Uh, as far as it could go. Okay. Well, if you didn't, it's gonna. You're gonna know it. It may have a lot of pressure on it. I don't see an outside faucet to relieve the pressure yet. Probably would have frozen busted too. Yeah, we start off clean, we certainly don't end up clean. Soap and water. So, the black pipe that is under a lot of these houses in this time period, I guess we're all about the same time that this owner has. We've found that we can use one crimpering on the black uh, pipe. 
but the gray quest takes two otherwise it'll have a tendency to leak which is totally not what you want inside of a house or underneath you don't want to pay a, a, a water bill which by the way the mobile home park I have I had multiple people that weren't paying their water bill because I'm paying it part of their rent chose not to tell me that water was running so I have a $1,500 water bill be hard-pressed to make any money from the park this week or this month I can make it but it certainly hurts $1,500 is not something you want to pay so fix your water leaks I can't control the weather so try to tell the people as they're paying the rent weekly very weekly to run their water a little bit you know size of a pencil lead or a little more as it gets colder they didn't do it one of them figured well I don't have to put any heat on that end because I'm not using that end so of course it froze even though it trickled the water a little bit busted the lines he kept on running the water Another had a uh, busted line underneath. Knew that we were coming, decided to run the water anyway. Despite the fact, so we just didn't fix it for a while. Uh, turned the water off and told them. So they, just, they didn't care. They didn't care. They kept turning the water back on. Channel locks. One pair, where's the other? It's in this box. Okay. Can't reach your knee? Okay. Of course, if you want to see how we do the skirting, you can. There's several videos on how to do it, and uh, I'd have you go under there with him, but it's wet, and then you don't have an extra hand. Believe me though, with these mobile homes that you have, you can make them look stupendously nice. I put insulated log cabin siding on older mobile homes. I put the fancy skirting, copper roof, copper colored roof, um, elaborate additions. Really makes a place look nice inside and out. So, do not be discouraged, even though you might see something like this. This is, if you can pay for it, you might be able to work on it at your budget and at your time and make it look real nice. Metal you can buy pieces. You don't have to buy it all at one time. I can only find one pair of channel locks. I don't know where the other one is right now. Now, if you have a leak on the hot water side, you're gonna to wanna to shut your hot water heater off because when you're underneath the house or even lower than the water heater, 
which is all the plumbing on the hot water side. You cut the hot water line, it will drain the water off while the element is still hot and it will burn that element. And you'll have to replace the top element of your water heater. So when you're changing your hot water side, you wanna make sure that you get your hot water heater turned off and then turn it back on when you get your leak fixed. Make sure you do that. Because that's a hassle to have to go and buy a water heater element because you didn't turn that breaker off or that double pole breaker. Usually a double 30. It's a good sign. He's got a cut. Don't need the channel locks. Crimping tool. These are the new cutters that Lowe's has. We tried them. He likes them. Ready for me to turn water on? Get water down your arm. He's my boss now. Looking good? Good sign. Let's put this puzzle back together. And there you go, guys. We didn't do it, so I don't know what the plan is. It's like somebody put in a new line at some point and dug it out. We'll do a little bit of it, but I'm not going to do very much. I don't know how to fix it. Well, guys, we'll let you go. That's what we do.